<laughs> no, okay, not if yes. you win. If you win, you can spam that as much as you want. Oh, people are going to hate that we've unlocked the yes. mysteries of Discord soundboard. Yep. One day we're going to start adding our own custom soundboards to that, but for now, I've only hi got, people. I've only got six sounds on the soundboard. It's because uh, I don't pay for the <laughs> the the uh, whatever it's called, nitro or yeah. whatever. Uh huh. Um, but but anyway. we do have the potential. <laughs> but anyway, good morning, Insomniacs. Welcome back to King of the Castle. I am here with uh, Jackson, Shazam, and Andy. Hello. Oh, good I. night. I, honestly. It is I, Jackson Jin, Chief of the North. Yes, joined sure. by my companions and rivals. Oh. Shooter Andy, Baron of the March. Say and hi, Andy. If you would like to play uh, and join in the voting, go to kotc.app and use the room code TXGH at the top of the screen. And you too can be part of this uh, democratic monarchy. As one of the noble houses here. Oh, not so Chichism. noble houses. The noble are one of Shazam's counts of the east. Yes. Counts yes, of the welcome east. Ab or counts welcome of the aboard. East. So while we wait for people to stream in and we're talking about kingdoms and whatnot, Spoonie! You have recently binge watched the entirety of Game of Thrones for some <laughs> ungodly reason I cannot begin to understand. Well, because it's it's good. It's good up until the very very end. Um, huh. Now, but the thing is though, the ending is so bad that it almost <laughs> ruins your enjoyment of everything that you saw before. It was almost enough to scare me away from watching the series entirely because it was so badly reviewed. Um, the very yep. fact that you say almost. Has at least the merits of more than most, I hear. Some will but, say, no, no, the whole thing is now ru ruined forever. But I, I wanted to see for myself, because I thought people might have been too hard on it, you know, because people tend to be, yeah. you know, about, I mean, they tend to be critical about stuff they love. And so, you know, once it ended, I figured, mate, well, no ending is going to satisfy them. Maybe they're just being picky. No, it's bad. Yeah. It's it's really bad. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, especially something where, like, like people were so invested in Game of Thrones for the longest time, right? That it's like, yeah, like, it, it would be very hard to do that, especially with George R. R. Martin, like, not finishing it. So it's just like, yeah, the studios just have to do it. But no, like, when I heard the motivation stuff, I'm like, oh, that's just... Hmm. Hmm. Motivation stuff? Like, he's, he's not motivated? Well, no, 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 no! Just character motivations for doing oh, things. Oh, okay, okay, like, I got why, you. Why? Yeah, like, like why characters were just like doing stuff like completely out out of character and like, like I don't know what the writers' room was was thinking from. Yeah, it, I mean, no, Spoonie, would you say there's like a good point to kind of just like stop and like be like, and then they all die, kind of. <laughs> Thing. Um, like, if the series yes. and now I'm going point. to read the books. I, I actually, yeah. I actually would. Yes, at the end of season six. There's a very definite point where things have kind of settled down. Like, it's not a happy ending for everybody, but things have kind of reached an equilibrium point. Uh, so at, at the end of Season 6, I think, was was just about the time I was thinking, like, if I was going to jump ship, this would be the time. Mm. So it's, it's before the war against the zombies. Mm. Just before the war against the zombies begins. That's when it gets really, really dumb. But they're fighting zombies in winter. Winter has come. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so the, so the whole winter is coming build up thing is like also a letdown. Kind of, yeah. Um, I actually, oh, I, I actually rather liked that battle scene, but a lot of people didn't like it because they said it was a, it was too hard to see anything. Mm. But I thought it was well. Uh, I, I thought it was well done. Um, as I said, like I actually liked it myself. Uh, how it looked. Uh, it, it was because it was hard to see. I thought it was kind of stylistic. Yeah, know, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, but then I actually like uh, I read some uh, commentary on on the scene and its tactics, and I realized that it makes absolutely no sense from any perspective. And I was like, Damn. 
It looks cool, but is that it? Yes, I'm gonna actually drop out of Discord and come back in real quick. I'm still getting um, everyone else is having uh, able to see the the Discord stream fine, right? Mm -hmm. See, yes, yeah, yeah, mine, no, yeah. But... yeah, I'm I'm getting a lot of buffering on my end, so I'm just gonna. I, I, it's it's almost certainly on my end then at this point, so I'm just gonna drop out and come back in. Give me a sec. All right, all right. Um. So, how many do you, are you hoping to see before we pick up? Uh, uh, as soon as, this as soon as he comes back, we'll start. Yeah, we're not getting many more people. I I guess it's even yeah, late. We, just or, uh, we barely got thirty people in right now. I do see and some familiar nine. faces already, though. Of course, uh, Doctor Insano is a count of the East. Oh yeah, I am playing the king again just because it's easier for me to stream that way. So you'll notice I am King Spoonie of the Phoenix Dynasty. I got burned at the stake last time I was king, so I've risen from the ashes. Yes, our last king died in a freak milk accident. So we're kind of just going to move on from that one. Oh, I think I, I, I think the nobles are gonna be taking the Game of Thrones names now. We have officially removed both the grandees and the patricians from the board, so there's not going to be a holy war, and there's not going to be a hostile capital uprising. So we're gonna try no, this. No, no. We're gonna try this whole monarchy thing again. I will point out for those new to the game, uh, for those returning to the game, though, there has been a new update since the last one, Democracy Manifest, which means more more potential schemes, more gameplay, more scene, more stuff. And we're probably going to try and make this a consistent dynasty. So whoever wins this one, we're probably going to try and continue it going forward. So there's going to be consi con considerable changes going forward. I feel like it's going to be pretty interesting. Yes, Chad, I'm the king, even though you didn't vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that fixed it. Yeah, I exited Discord and booted it up again. It's like, you ha now downloading 15 updates. I'm like, hmm, I see. Okay, and we have equal numbers of players, so I think All right, we can begin. So I'm going to get started. Shall we read as we normally do? Oh yeah, let's do it. Sure thing. What? <laughs> I'm going to run this kingdom into the ground. The blood. No, that's that... your king. Go first. Whoops, oh, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna, I was gonna give you the chancellor for this. For... Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom: the wintry north, the desolate east, and of course the bleak march. You introduce yourself to the chiefs of the north. Good luck in the days ahead, your majesty. You'll need it dealing with us lot. This is a player who's brought King of the Castle. Who has bought King of the Castle? Oh, this is your custom character. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blair, I do. Count, count the blue hair, Blair. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, Your Highness. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Yes, my father, ah, Spoonie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the second of his name. <laughs> Hell and well met, your highness. Under your leadership, we'll whip this kingdom into shape, hmm? And with that, the introductions are done. Okay. Uh, if you're good for narrating stuff. Oh. Uh, I'll just, I'll wait till the next Science adventure. it back and yada yada yada. Yeah. Coronation time. Or yep. the path to victory. In the, the river. In the <laughs> Your majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Shouldn't I be giving the orders now? Of course, your majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Very well, then. What must I do? As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Of course. Shall we call the nobles in? What kind of coronation should be held for the new king, Spoonie? Host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine? Invite foreign dignitaries to show off our wealth, throw the king in the river, 
or outdated traditions. There's no need for a coronation at all. Hmm. Every time we've played Every this Every time game. it's the river. It's always the river. Let's go. I use now, my, I now, use my monarch's I use my monarch's vote and say I host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. You yeah, fool! Right. You could have vetoed the river. <laughs> I'm not necessarily hmm. opposed to the river, but uh, right. If you so wish, you do okay. need a bath. And it's ceremonial. We're putting out the fire of your predecessor's end. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, what happened? No, wait, this is a new kingdom, though, so... It, yeah, alright. I'm, I'm just goofing around. What happened I'm, last I'm, time. I'm goofing yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you need to start vote when you're okay. ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no question in my mind. You know what? We want wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a blood, but... Uh... We will That's obey. Right. We will abide by the vote of the people. I would say we should host a lavish Ooh. parade this time. It okay, is so it is very even tied. Split. Yeah. Vote tied. Lee Mark vote wins then. Break the tie by selecting one of the options. We will you host the parade. Pick. And it comes out of your coffers. Fortunately, the patricians aren't around this time, so it's okay. No one's going to tell us no, and no one's going to try to sell us crabs. <laughs> hey, those crabs were the fortune. The crabs stopped going. Those stopped to the moon. Hey, gonna make a going to make a killing on crab yeah, crabs. <laughs> That's never going to get old. The I love is that a, event. The coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks, and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of course, but what doesn't? Okay, and then the path to victory. Your Majesty. Uh, Shazam, if you'd like. Oh, okay. okay I'm when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Oh. This is a good. This is a big thing. How are you going to try to win? Because mm -hmm. this kind of could decide your fate right here. Mm-hmm. Bearing in mind who we are. <laughs> I see. Um, I hadn't thought about this until now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, military That's is not a, a great really thing for the king to admit. Yeah, you can see our stats and also try to like ride our coattails for like what you think we might be able to. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I I want to I want to buck the trend. Um, my father was weak. I think we should uh make a name for ourselves as conquerors. Oh, okay. A warrior king is sure to be remembered fondly if he wins more battles than he loses. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving your kingdom's overall military as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. I'm gonna go pet my boat now. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, where and are we in? Next. Yes. Emmy of the Brian 80s bloodline, well known for my bandit, stands before a blazing hearth roaring with arms outstretched. The hearth has arms outstretched, or yeah. is the Baron roaring? <laughs> when have the Barons of the March back, back down from a fight? Never! I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful queen, on the throne. Okay, so Emmy is a queen. Okay, what should the goal of the Barons of the March be? You don't is have much for the Barons to vote on. This is the Barons to vote. Yeah. Yep, yep. Modernization, uprising, or intimidation. This is not the only um, thing you'll be doing this game, but you have options. I'm gonna say intimidation. Let's go with that. I like that. Raise stability. Interesting. Okay. Goal is to raise the treasury. Oh, well, no, we hmm. still got one more vote. I was outvoted by my own subjects, but that's fine. <laughs> Voting has closed. Peasants uprising. Oh boy. Interesting. All right, fun. The barons, barons plan... plan to incite. No. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. The barons plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the king before swooping in to steal the throne for themselves. To advance their scheme, the barons must raise the treasury to two thousand or more in two seasons, which it already is. But yeah, that's Just why you, got, you, you yeah you've got the red check mark there already, so. 
Ivor of the Manny Clan, infamous northern rascal, stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they speak. Ah, chiefs of the North! We all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter King Spoony. How do we make that happen? Uh, doppelganger, prophecy, or hornblower? We should create our own imposter instead of that imposter. I'm gonna say hornblower. Where's the wizard fun. one? I want the wizard Lower event. You haven't. Yours might be it. Yours might be next. Be so good. Give you the wizard. <laughs> Count if you see the wizard. Oh, the wizard. Why? What does what does blowing horns have to do with faith? I don't know, we'll find out, it'll be funny, maybe it's, maybe it's like whistleblowing, we get like, at, listen, they're up the, the north, maybe they're snowed in. The chief's plan to dig in. up legendary horn and use it to take over the kingdom. First, they must win the favor of the gods by diminishing the kingdom's belief in the ninth. Interesting. Okay. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must lower the combined total of all regions' faith to 12 or less in four seasons. So okay. we're good for that, but we yeah, can't let you, them get definitely more faithful. Good. Okay, so we need to rate. All right, all right. Carol of the Shazam Dynasty, charismatic Eastern elder, uh, leans delicately on a podium, speaking in a melodious voice. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king Spoonie wears the crown. Sorcery, subterfuge, okay. or blood rituals. All right, everyone. Uh, um, so raise authority. Sorcery is the one you're looking for. Yeah, raise authority for sorcery, uh, subterfuge, lowering stability, which will cause the king to kind of collapse in itself, or blood ritual, uh, gain the higher, vote. and we go into farming. Uh, oh, yeah, ten seconds of vote counts. What do you want? Uh, I'm good to go with sorcery and raising authority. I think we can go I authoritarian. Can... Authoritarian here. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> the Count's plan to make a bargain with a wizard. Yes, the wizard! These immortal spellcasters seldom gel involved in political squabbles, but perhaps if the king was considered a threat to their autonomy... I, I call shenanigans. The goal was clearly sorcery. Why are you making a deal with a wizard? Uh, completely different classes. Uh, Do you want listen, authority we're, at five listen, we're or more in two we're seasons? We're, we're vampires, yes. Yeah, authority at five or more in two seasons, which it currently so, already is. King's booty, I recommend for your own sake you do anything to change things because we're all set <laughs> to move on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. But there's absolutely no way the faith gets over 12 in two seasons. <laughs> Four seasons. Okay, so I gotta pass a law yeah, here. Uh, swing votes. After voting, nobles can change their minds and vote for a different option. Reverse voting. Or the monarch can mark their preferred option. If chosen, they gain one authority. Do that one. I see no reason not to raise your authority, my liege. Let's see. Um, <laughs> let's do swing votes. I've never seen that one before. What, are you afraid of wizards? They have power gloves and everything. No, wait. Okay. We got events. Yes, let's go. Are they all in the blue region? Damn it. Well, one of them is here. Good news, oh, okay. Your Majesty. Yeah. I have received a vision. I saw you bathed in holy light. Blades and missiles crumbling to dust before they could reach you. You do not need to recruit an honor guard. The Ninth God will shield you from all harm. I've never seen I've the Ninth... Never protect someone from a sword through the chest. You need tangible guards, your majesty. All right, what you foreign, know how this works. What foreign mercenaries yeah. do you suggest? A band of fearsome fighters call, from the Tatterlands called the Battle-Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly. And hiring foreigners will betray a lack of confidence in our kingdom's fighters. I'd like to point out, if you're trying to be a military king... Why would you want to lower the military by hiring foreigners? It's a good point. Mm. Let's see. 
Okay, uh, no matter if who I choose, it lowers faith. Right. Well, unless you say you don't need an honor guard because they said the ninth will protect you. Eh. I would like to point out our faith is already the lowest it can be. Can do no more damage with that. Mm hmm. We're not going to negatives, Your Highness. Therefore, oh. all you stand to gain oh. is our benefits. Oh! Interesting. But you don't know. You don't know if it lowers that faith or if it lowers the faith of the entire kingdom. It might just. It might lower the faith of the entire kingdom and just change the it, defiance. Or the faith else. of the other two that are not, select, not selected. Yeah. Okay, so if I choose the Northern Warriors, that's the blue guys. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. Hi. Yep. I don't think you need an honor guard, please. What? 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 Are, if there aren't battle nuns on uh, on the docket. I don't think you need one. <laughs> it would be an honor to serve the king and prove the might of this kingdom. Yeah, I agree. Damn it. Defiance is now aloof. Foolishness! Do you not trust in the protection of the ninth? This king is yeah, more faithless face. by the day. See? Went down for all the Playing right into their hands! Right into their hands! The warrior heroes arrive a few weeks later. They swagger in with big grins and bigger axes, belching and singing and roaring out unsavory jokes. One of your courtiers faints. Well done. You've just hired a crew of Nords. Well, at least the parties are great, so there there you go. Oh, yeah, we just made this a riotous time. <laughs> your Majesty, this king will be holding the Winterfest in my clan hall. It would be an honor if you could attend. The Winter Feast? What's that? Ten days of drinking, <laughs> eating, fighting, competing, drinking, singing, stamping, drinking, and drinking, your majesty. And fuck yeah, let's go. All will take place at the coldest time of the year, as the snow buries us in. But you won't need to wrap up warm. That's what the whiskey is for. You wrap yourself in whiskey? I'm very sorry, but I must decline. No you would way! You an invitation to the Windsor Feast! What kind of king are you? The kind who doesn't it's drink that much, really. King. I don't know how we got saddled with having this weak-hearted southerner in charge. Interesting. Your Highness, excellent news from beyond the sky! As your greatness knows, I'm an amateur astronomer. I have seen that a solar eclipse is on its way, visible from the north. We must encourage the kingdom to gather beneath the dark sun and experience this once-in-a-lifetime event. There will be no vampires involved. Wait, what? Great God! No! An eclipse is a warning from the Ninth God, a sign that the kingdom has fallen to shadow. All the nobles start talking at once. Some are excited, some are horrified, but all are very loud. Blah! A very loud blah! How should the kingdom prepare for the eclipse? Focus on holy protection against the eclipse? Encourage visitors to the north to witness the event? Or, these son of such fools should focus on the land, not the sky? I think we should focus on holy protection against the eclipse, your majesty. I believe that... Uh, oh, that's some there are coming from the counts. There's dark magic afoot, we would know, and holy protection is the only what? thing to protect against the uh, oncoming uh, Well, the king, the, king the king agrees. Your Majesty, I would like to point out that you did just decline winter feast, and oh, if anything, you kind of owe us this one. We'll have uh, bad on, mojo on hand, unless we have holy protection. On the other hand, don't you find it weird that the northerners want you and your people in their land so much? They invite you we the second time. We are willing to accept visitors. We just believe this is an important event that everyone should be willing to see. It is a little suspicious. It is a little suspicious. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, you could well, be practicing unity among the people, but no. L Lawful Stupid has your back there, Jackson, in, in, in chat there. By the I way, any 
And anyone, anyone in, uh, in in chat that isn't uh, joining already, uh, feel free to go on to KOTC. And, yeah, go uh, ahead. Join up. Yeah, KOTC.app can... and use the room code here. You can check in anytime you like. Yep. Uh, you also can sometimes be. Got swept by the friggin' barons. Ay, ay, ay. Northern sagas have few specifics about the sun going dark, other than the usual we're all going to die. So they... Ah. Uh, uh, this is... Um, oh, the I guess general, it's just narration, general narration. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I'll finish reading it. So the chiefs turn to church scripture for help. You fucker. You hope you they hope will find something before the ghost occurs. Ooh, that's the end of the season. Hey, uh, hey, Al hey Alicon. Come on in. Uh, if you want to join, go to kotc.app and use the, the room code to join in. Ooh. Oh, you're right, building oh, time. Right. I suck at this. Okay, now. All uh, right. Here's how this works. The top two, the you're gonna bid on various buildings that have an impact on the uh, on the kingdom here. Each of you has a personal treasury of a thousand gold coins. You can spend as much of that as you want. But keep in mind, this is a long game, so you may not want to spend all of it. But uh... if you, if anyone would like to say anything for their kingdoms and suggestions and such, uh, guys, we gotta build uh, counts. We gotta work on that monument. I think. Um, don't what whatever you do, don't let the observatory get built. I think. Uh, I think that's bad for all of us. Um, and you know that. Probably it. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm. If the Barons want to make a play for building the stadium too, that might also be something to, to look at. Yes, I, I would. I would agree. Monuments are great, but monuments are just this. This is a building. Nothing happens. It just stands there. Stadium, on the other hand. Right. It's full of action. Got a hard disagree on the stadium. I'm, surprisingly, I'm going to say, uh, Chiefs. I think we're good for now, you know? Like, we can get trade, like, we can talk about trade if we oh, want, you're maybe. Say, huh? That would be nice. But we right. genuinely do not need to worry about that observatory right now. We can just kind of chill right now. If you want to put that uh, money into the observatory, great, but uh, it sounds like the others are going to try to out and suspend us anyway. It might be in our best interest to leave that coin on the table, you know? Well, loyal subjects to the crown will not vote for the stadium, but uh, I've said enough, I've said my piece, so let's start with the bidding. Okay. It's it's just a building. It's just for fun. Games will be hold, held there. I can't bid anything on this. I'm just the king. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're the That's treasury. The you're like, you can't put your doors on there. Oh, interesting, huh? Okay. Let's do that. This is... This is genuinely looking like a lower spending game than the mad dash to throw all the coin out it was last yeah, time. Uh, yeah, I think we had like two like huge big spenders within uh, the um, the the monetarists kind of thing, the green faction who just like had so much spare change to throw around. But I don't know how good we are money wise with any of the factions that are currently there but also it's it's, it's early it, it's still early game right so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i'm I, i'm kind of interested in your frugal strategy there jackson it might pay off well interesting okay i mean i put 200 down on the grand bazaar and it looks like it paid off yeah i put i put 300 into my monster so yeah you got you got some loyal fans there all right okay next season it's true, Morani. Not much right now. Okay. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, your nobles, even the spymaster, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Why what? haven't you... you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year! But, <laughs> but, mother, at this point in my life, I really don't think I'm in the mood for a relationship. Nonsense! A king can't rule alone! Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men? Women? Do you not mind? Well, I mean, I, I like girls, but, uh, I guess. Oh, good, good, good. Excellent! I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer! Let's keep, I'll keep Mother busy, nothing else. 
A boy's best friend should be his mother. <laughs> Bad news, your majesty. Oh, oh, should I read this in auto uh, I can't do it. I can't do it, though. <laughs> Damn it. Bad news, your majesty. We have suffered an extremely poor harvest in the march. Un unseasonably bad weather is to blame. Unseasonably and unreasonably. Farming is now dropped by two. Whoa! Oh, that's Ooh. just okay. Damn. A, a, a dickish event. What can we do about it? Not much, my liege. Even a king can't control the weather. You should hire a wizard. Unfortunately, it'll be a tough What's winter, your interview, which everything? is coming. Yeah. Yes. That was just a punch in the face right there. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was. It was. Good <laughs> thi counts. Good thing we didn't go for the farming victory route, or we would be in trouble. Your greatness, I'm afraid we've learned nothing from scripture about the eclipse. Heathens! We searched through our most ancient monasteries and discovered a book describing a time when the sun went dark. I love some good archaeology. <laughs> Servants of the old seventh guard broke through while darkness fell and took possession of the one who predicted the eclipse. And now the Syrian question is none other than Chief Jackson Jin. That's just some old book. I'm not any sort of demon. Not yet. Oh my god, let's go. Your Majesty, the scripture describes how the demon will use Jackson Jin to bring havoc to our realm. We must protect the kingdom. Are we gonna have an execution already? Yes, we do! How should the Holy kingdom be protected? Me. Holy <laughs> shit! How should the kingdom be protected against this potential demon horde? Seek out artifacts Highness, to protect the like... kingdom? Rally priests for protection? Execute Jackson immediately? Or this is nonsense. This old book isn't worth worrying okay. about. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's I would like to speak Chief. first as the one in question here. No, you will speak to the last majesty. demon. No, no Your Majesty? Your Majesty? I would one. actually recommend you seek out artifacts to protect the kingdom on the grounds that you have need of getting rid of that excess coin right now, don't you? And rather fast, it's I demon. would point out. You are speaking demon tongues! Kill yep. him! Yep. This would I lower would the say, price of the kingdom, to... this would handle the matters swiftly and efficiently. I say no, no, you may find things <laughs> better than <laughs> simple bloodlust. I say just we, a moment, just a moment. We rally the priest okay. for protection, man. Yes, I agree. It is It is too, too soon to just jump to execution. I, I, I would agree. D uh, Absolutely not. But red and priest for protection. That sounds like something. That sounds like a plan. I, nope. I don't think we should... I, I don't believe that Jackson is a demon. <laughs> You're a fool! I do, but... Look, he just left the chat! He's a demon! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> demon! Foul magics! Foul magics at work! <sighs> We would do be better suited with that treasury depleted. I would like to point out for all of my fellow people, my ever countrymen. Oh my God, Shazam! Come on! Oh wow! Oh crap! Woo! Tied! <laughs> no! Ah, oh, I should have voted for the top one. No! Your Majesty, this is in your best interest to vote for the treasury being reducted. I would like to point that out right now. Uh, but also, faith being up. You can re you can thing. raise that faith in the next two seasons. You that can't that, that, that treasury thing season. is going to go on next season. Also, true. Uh, no, no, no. You you, you have got to time. Pick, you got you have time to on the faith. faith. Yeah, I think our fact that we can't kill now. we can't kill Jackson. Then yeah. Summon the Exorcist. Treasury. The King commands it. You have it. <laughs> It's like you're trying to give the throne away, Your Majesty. Uh, <laughs> Fervent priests of the Ninth God flock to the north to draw the faithful closer, hoping to ward off the Eclipse demons. And the Northmen are now agnostic. Oh, you fool. Even the most pagan northern peasants start drifting to church services. Not all the chiefs are pleased, muttering that the people shouldn't turn from the old ways, but their defiance is now grumbling. Yeah, no, I'm feeling that. 
Some nobles claim the Archbishop is gathering as much power as the crown. The kingdom waits in anticipation of the solar events. My authority is now dubious. <laughs> I can't believe you voted to kill me. I didn't vote to kill you. You fucker. No, Shazam did. <laughs> it was funny! You were a demon! It was a practical joke, bro. It will come back. It, uh, you, you know the event will come back and you'll be a demon. This is going to be so funny. Across the kingdom, discontent with the king is rising. Everyone knew that the he was better off until now. It hadn't occurred to most people just how much better off. He could have been giving us arcology and he didn't! This monster! Now the peasants are asking all sorts of troublesome questions about the him. benevolent overlord. And as everyone knows, once a question has been asked, it can't be unasked. Why is my barony grumbling? It has the, the lowest defiance. What the hell? Well, you're Somewhere starving, in the march, you... a group of barons are touring Baron Chance Mayab's impressive trophy room. Once the tour is over, a bottle of brandy is uncorked and the barons settle down for some light treason as a treat. The common folk are getting rowdy, and it's all thanks to us. Now that they know how much wealth the king's hiding, they're itching to get rid of him. Careful, we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or they'll start asking questions about our wealth as well. Yes, Orokon, you can have some light treason as a treat. <laughs> Aye, now it's time to incite some real chaos. Show them that King Spoonie's not only greedy, he's utterly incompetent too. Hey, it's like they know me. For the next stage of their scheme, the barons must lower stability to four or less in four seasons. Wow, that's... Interesting. Four Tough. seasons is a long time, though, so... Yeah. Uh, in the east, Count Dr. Insano stands on the ramparts of their castle, watching a flock of bats pass before the moon. Any luck finding a wizard to aid our cause? No, I'm afraid not. King Spoonie is weak, and the wizards are satisfied that they needn't worry about royal meddling in their affairs. Blood and stars! We must try harder! The Count's aim is to raise authority to five or more. Yeah, we're working on that. We... Uh... Alright. Okay, so now we're going to taxation. Hmm. This is how you get money, my lord. Or raise or lower the defense. It's also I'd like how to point you... out the counts discovered treasure worth five hundred wealth in a long abandoned crypt. The other nobles gained two hundred out of it. So Oh we did, didn't they we? Got a, nice. They got a payday. I'd like to point out they got a payday. That's true. I didn't even notice to, I didn't even notice to read that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, uh, but yeah, also... Oh. oh. Oh, my. Really? Interesting. Okay. It's gonna play into the... Okay. Yeah. Wow. Alright. I see how it is. Now. I see how it is. Incredible. Just hit us right in the pocketbooks, huh? Okay. Let's go to the march. Didn't, 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 didn't realize that you were such a capitalist there. Hmm. We're going to unionize. Hail, your highness. Some fine news from my common folk in the march. A baby has been born on your birthday, bearing a birthmark in the shape of the number nine. Number a nine? Omen. Number nine. Perhaps we should mark the occasion. What should be done to mark the birth of this remarkable infant? The king will send his blessing. The king has no time for peasant brats. Gift the parents a bounty of jewels and fine wine. Or send the Inquisition to make sure the birthmark is real. All right, you hypocrites. If you're going to be this uptight about making sure the faith is kept, I think now is should be the time we go in. Well, look, all I'm saying is, it's just, a, it's just some, some baby. It's not the eclipse of the sun. They're going to start... You're going to start having the kingdom declaring, oh, we've got a born child with all this faith. Oh, you want to talk about heresy over here. You want to put my head on the fucking no, guillotine. No, there is... There is And you're no going to let reason. this family decide, no, we're going to get think... all the family good. And they took a knife and took a family of their fucking baby. No reason. Our no coffers... Reason to do anything. 
Our coffers are quite high. I believe that you could gift the parents of Bounty of Jewels and fine wine and be okay with that. No, they they don't need that. They're just trying to get some fame. Off Listen, of you, my we have an eclipse issue going on, and Jackson is a demon. We're going to need <laughs> all of the prophecies that we can get. We should shower hey, hey, this Baron, baby with You're with me on this. You're with me on this. No, with no, the, no. With this the, is, the this yeah? is just you're with a coincidence. Barons, you're with me on the Inquisition, yeah? Hmm. Enough talk. Time to vote. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is very tense. Mm-hmm. You can benefit only yourself out there, Barons, or you could work with us and it'll be fine. It'll be much better. There we go. Let's see some justice out there. Oh well. Nobody expects the Royal Inquisition. Oh my gosh. That is the second most beneficial outcome for us. By the ninth, my leash, I can assure you there is no deception going on here. Defiance is now grumbling. I'll be the judge of that. With the Me and my giant scroll. When the High Inquisitor returns, she is forced to admit that the birthmark is indeed genuine, but her rude questions and threats have turned the local population against her. Faith is now irreverent. Bummer. Let's see. This must be my uh, bachelor options. Yep. Yeah. I've done three we potential, have done matches, three for potential you. matches for you. One eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance, my boy. What if I don't want to marry any of them? That's a decision that can wait until after you've seen them, isn't it? But I don't want Your to get married. I feel like singing. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother leads you to the Great Hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. All right, then, let's see them. She whisks the cloth away from the first portrait. This is Helga, firstborn of the Northern well armed with Tacos clan. She's your typical <laughs> Northern lass, as far as I can tell. Big and loud and all the social graces of a goat, but means well. And has tacos. Good. Even among the Northerners, she's made something of a name for herself as a fearsome warrior. People say she nurses a grudge, though. Next. As a warrior she king. <clears throat> this is Marcella, the eldest daughter of the East, Sir Ante Dynasty. I met her at a party once, but all she did was squeak out a hello and run off. Seemed nice enough. Spends most of her time indoors, pouring over musty tomes. She's obsessed with the family's legacy. And we have huge tracts of land. I don't see what all she the fuss squeaked. is about, personally. A little bit like a bat. And finally, we have the Marches offering. Henrika, scion of the prestigious shooter Andy bloodline. Unlike most of the barons, she can conduct an entire conversation without shouting. And look at her. Stunning. Like most of the barons, her great passion is hunting. No beast is safe from her cross, though. She's got a reputation for not giving a damn what anyone thinks about her. Meh. Okay. So, if... What do you think? Just think about it. If one of the barons turns out to be a <laughs> werewolf... What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. I've made my decision. Well, which of them do you wish to marry? I refuse to marry any of them. Well, how would you get an heir? Without a marriage, you are alone. No alliance and no support. Not to mention an insult to the most powerful families in the kingdom. What possible reason could you have for not choosing to marry? My heart belongs to another lowborn commoner. Marriage would weigh me down. Oh, please lower your stability again. Yes. <laughs> I want to live a life of chastity in honor of the ninth god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna live. I just got through a really bad breakup, okay? She ruined me. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely ruined me. I'm oh my just god. Saying... Wow. 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 You okay, really this is new. Threw us over okay. That heart. okay. Interesting. I'm sure the church will be very pleased with your show of devotion, but the nobles won't. They'll see it as a bad advent of your duty. Kings don't have the luxury of freedom. You'll learn that soon. 
happen later. You should get a wizard to uh, create an heir. Just impregnate a wizard. It'll work Your out. Majesty, are you trying to have a peasant uprising? No comment. Maybe. That was a winter chill. The faith is still actually within the bounds of the north there. All right. Barely. Well, this in eastern winter has been especially cruel this time of year, Your Majesty. I can still feel it in my bones. Your counts don't know the meaning of the word cold. Your Grace, this is no joke. And who was this guy? What was he doing in my kingdom? I found the secret is lairs. Not about me. In the east, the river is frozen, and people won't work for fear of frostbite. My butler touched an iron fence post and lost his entire finger. Should the council send aid to the east in these cold times? Should I send food to build the eastern stockpiles? Send northern troops to clear snow and ice? Order the chiefs to send any surplus food? Or let the counts deal with it? Well, your majesty, I believe you will find us northerners are more than up to the task. We'll fight the freaking snow. Come on, we'll do this. Kill the snow. <laughs> yes. Well, killing the snow is an okay option. On the other hand, you could, uh, as a king, try to actually, you know, improve your relationships with people and provide some infrastructure for them. Well, I'm going to let people change their votes after you've, you... You can change your vote if you want to. But I, I say we kill the snow. So, yeah. I think... I am not opposed to that idea, but I would also not be opposed to food and supplies for starving people. I'd like to point out you'd be getting the food and supplies from us, the people that have trouble growing anything. <laughs> this is a fair point. I believe that our king is wise. <laughs> and we're 90% likely to do it. I'm more concerned about the safety of our kingdom than any other result at this point. Northern mercenaries soon arrive in the east and get to work. Military challenge succeeded. <laughs> Although, you guys don't like being forced yeah, to... Yeah, we sent, we sent their military to go and shovel snow. <laughs> you guys want to do this for $20? They clear vast swaths of snow and ice with shovels and pickaxes. Though the air is still chilly, the eastern peasants quickly grow more confident about leaving their homes. Defiance is now grumbling, and trade is now dynamic. Thank you for like shuffling the our driveways. <laughs> Soon merchants Such can come and go more easily. Man. Markets set up again, and citizens waddle from stall to stall wrapped in huge furs. The east well, is well on the way to recovery. And the finest shovel knights, yes, Dragoon. <laughs> Remind me again what happens when you hit seven defiance, because I think it's bad. Okay, so I can choose a new law but you have to remove one of the existing ones for that mm -hmm. stop the count I don't like stop the count we have we need it we need it all the time we can get um yeah count the votes count the votes yes yes stop the count also works for because normally the king uh the vote only stops when the king presses next whereas stop the count is a time-based vote so it's more interesting so yeah we're gonna do royal gamble Oh, hell yeah. All right. One or more yep, regions are able to rebel, as their defiance stat is both higher than both authority and stability. Yep. So that's what happens. If the, if rebels, the rebels get more victory points than the loyalists, they'll win the game. If the loyalists get more victory points than the rebels, they'll put down the rebellion and continue the game. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebelling regions with the highest stats will determine the successor. Important. Rebelling regions have their schemes paused. Huh. Monarchs. Regions with a high military stat are more likely to overthrow the monarch or the rebellion. If stability, authority, or treasury hit zero, the rebels will win the civil war. So the chiefs are on the verge of rebellion. 
but Defiance currently is too high, he's a loyalist. And one or more regions is considering a rebellion. Rebellion rebellion will stop the region from advancing their scheme, and they can't be taxed or take part in normal votes. Can't take part in normal votes. Interesting. Okay. I believe this means it's time to cut us a break, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, so they've really laid out like what a rebellion oh, look, looks like look in game. How, how easy it is to rebel. Just hit the rebellions tab in your browser to rebel. And that's it. Oh, interesting. E uh, who is? Oh, that's, that's you. one of your guys. Yeah, oh. just the chiefs can do it, yeah. Yeah, our defiance is Your Majesty, so... I worry that our newly built stadium in the march is encouraging bad habits among the marcher soldiers. They're getting complacent. Too much time is devoted to pointless parades and chest thumping and flag waving. We need fighters who know how to use their pole arms, not just polish them. Oh my. But how do the barons feel about this? By my honor, we like the parades. They're a perfect demonstration of a marcher military might. Said from below the chiefs, but... Send me over there. I can toughen these soldiers up. First step, shut down the damn parades. Should the pointless parades in the marcher stadium be stamped out? Send the marshal to replace parades with a religious training... With a rigorous training regimen, sorry. Actually, double the number of marcher parades. Or unleash monsters into the stadium during the next parade. If you send the marshals, uh, that's going to raise their defiance to the point of rebellion, I believe. That seems likely. And and it's still going to lower, lower your authority. Uh, I'm going to veto Ooh. the marshal replacing the parades with the training regimen. It's funny, because you're going against your military game. Your military game, though. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Alright, counts. Uh, double the number of marshal parades. Uh... For sure, I think we're we're with that. Don't know what that fifty-fifty is gonna do. I want to see what the monsters go with the fifty-fifty. I want to see where the yeah. monsters look Let's like. Let's go with the fifty-fifty. I want to I want to see what happens. I'm way too curious to skip. It could that. be way worse. It could be way. It could worse. be, but I'm I'm just morbidly curious what this will mean. Okay, this one won big. Yeah, it, make, it makes sense. Monsters, <laughs> monsters. Guys. What? This is not what I recommended at all. Your Majesty, this is... <laughs> I, I thought you said monsters. What did you say? Oh, Kenneth One-Eye. You're the one who accused our soldiers of getting complacent. This would shake them up in a bit, shouldn't it? At the next marcher the parade, crew. the soldiers march out in their gleaming ranks, boots hitting the ground in perfectly synchronized lockstep. Their Back confidence the turns to panic, chaos, however, too. as Baron Garrison pulls a lever and a cage door slides open. A dozen scorpion cats slink out, hissing and spitting, venom dripping from their barbed tails. Oh, A winter kitties. wolf howls, blanketing the stadium floor in a magical frost. A bronze giant clangs huh. his fists together, eyes burning. What follows is nothing short of a massacre. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, the humanity! Oh, that's brilliant. The marcher troops scream and run in all directions, slipping on the ice. Ceremonial Holy weapons shit. prove useless against the bronze giant's metallic hide. It wades through the army, smashing warriors to paste with apparent ease. Oh, goodbye, my military. Uh, it was worth it. The scorpion cats move like ghosts, tails flickering, leaving soldiers convulsing and dying. A lone sergeant tries to keep order, shouting herself red in the face, until the winter wolf clamps its jaws around her leg and her blood turns to ice. Oh my god! Yep. Whoa! That slaughtered wow. your military, dude. Yep. Eventually, the soldiers manage to band together and overcome their foes. Even in his death thrust, the bronze giant kills dozens, but the damage has been done. Casualties are immense. Well, what stupid idea was that? And I think I just got Strat. overthrown. Strat. What did you do? Let's see what the eclipse leads to. Sure, why not? So about that apocalypse we're yeah. up to, huh? Winter's coming. In the capital, the solar <laughs> eclipse does little except make the day a little gray, but in the north, it's a different story. Your greatness, 
Hey, hey! Blast the boss. <laughs> joy. Well, the well, the demon, well, the demon's dead at they least. So hooray! Are you fucking with me, sir? Yeah, apparently, your son alive. killed you. Yes. I really escaped alive. Please, you must help us. You look awfully familiar. <laughs> <laughs> There's no winning on this one. Yeah. Hi, I opened my father's eyes! We don't even know the rest of him. That's all I could save. As the sun went dark, he changed into a monstrous demon creature! Told you! A reptile as far as the building! He bit the heads off his servants, and more demons erupted from the corpses! <laughs> Call me a demon, will you? Well, fine, I'm gonna fucking do it then! <laughs> you, you, you became the ultimate demon! You were so demonic for full of demons! And the thought speakers burned sacred herbs to ward off the beasts! Oh man, I ran this kingdom into the ground. Priests and gods who can join forces to pray to anyone who will listen, but they grow weary. They can't last forever. This is such a clusterfuck, I love it. <laughs> Hell spells, just as I feared. We are forsaken. What if they spread across the kingdom? How can the Eclipse demons be vanquished? <laughs> no, Learn to live with, with the demons. demons. No. Fuck it. No. Oh, demons let's with animal just sacrifices. end this properly. Destroy the demons with the power of the ninth god, or learn to live with the demons. Learn to live, people. Let's just fucking learn to live with the demons. Okay. okay? The game. So here's the, the thing. This kingdom's gone to shit anyway. Let's just here's the go thing. with I'm it. I'm pretty sure that whichever option we pick, if the percentage fails, and it likely will, this is game over. Stability goes one more, and reaches zero, and it's game over for everyone. That's true. It's pretty actually. much game. It's pretty much game over, no matter what we do. I think. Yep. I... <laughs> it's gonna end with me killing everyone. <laughs> I told you, but you wouldn't listen. <laughs> uh, we need to pray it away. Who did, didn't come to Winterfest? This <laughs> is your <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> pray, pray, Jackson Jin Zilla away. <laughs> Holy this shit. is the king's fault. He could have come to Winterfest, oh, but he did. Can, can we invite that wizard? Maybe he will be able to, you know, say something. Yeah, we should have just called the wizard. <laughs> yes! Oh, my yes! God! Oh, what yes! the shit? We defeated him with the power of love. Ninth priests from all across the kingdom gather in the north to protect the northern peasants. Witnesses report one especially brave priest is punching what used to be Jackson Jin's father in the fangs of the holy symbol. Jesus. Fuck. Eventually, the creatures retreat back to the seven hells. You can only hope they're cowed. Meanwhile, the archbishop is eager for the church to take credit. Peasants scramble to attend as many sermons as possible, keen for anything to avoid. Sorry, keen to avoid anything like this happening again. And now your faith is eight. You're the most fervent servants of the faith in the in the land. Wow. Damn. Yeah. The kingdom still is too unstable, though. You should increase your authority. You know what? Fuck it. Voting rebellion. I can't win by by the scheme anymore. Fuck it. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Jackson. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Your greatness, there are northern citizens scattered throughout the kingdom with nowhere to pay homage to their gods. Some Jackson Jin destroyed everything. Would it kill you to build a few temples to the old gods outside the north? They don't have to be big temples. I thought that said, good point, your people need somewhere to shit. <laughs> good point. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. Should the North be allowed to open up temples in other regions of the kingdom? Let them build as many uh, temples as they like. Let them open one temple. Or no, this smells okay. like heresy. Okay, they just... They just had a demonic invasion. Maybe we shouldn't spread their religion. It doesn't work. You want the clients to go up again? I mean, you yeah. already voted for an open rebellion, so... I mean, at this point, you don't have an option on 
I'm voting a lot of Bell as many temples as they like. We have the money. Okay. Interesting. I'm saying I'm saying that it smells like heresy. Jackson Jin the second. I'm open. I'm open to seeing anyone else in my kingdom. If you lower the defiance, they can't rebel. True. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with Otakon on this one. For the good of the realm. The only thing is, it's also still lowering the faith, though, right? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's not, and this will probably lower it by two. But it might just be in across all kingdoms. We'll see. The gods are good. At last, things are looking up for the north. Yeah, you've had a bit of a rough go of it. The chiefs pool their wealth and build pagan temples throughout the kingdom. The church is understandably outraged. Yeah. Wow, faith dropped for everybody. Uh, except for uh, the northern the chiefs. Yeah, the yeah. chiefs, yeah. We're still fucking... Ugh. <laughs> Quite pious. I can't go against the will of the council, but I look forward to watching you heathens burn in the seven hells. <laughs> we just exercised some demons. We're good. Next to Jackson Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the uh, faith did. Their faith didn't. Our, both of our faiths did not drop enough in order to. Yeah, uh, we have yeah, I know. Planets. I know. We're huh. still fucked. Yeah. And you guys are still happy, sitting pretty with your stability on. Uh, an ancient legend is resurfacing in the north. Yet the chiefs can't agree on where. I'm telling you, my aunt's second cousin dug up a hole not long ago that looks just like the carvings. Your aunt's always digging things up. I have an good authority if the horn is somewhere in my lands, my He's... father's lands. The sagas confirm it. He's got a beard and he still talks in a falsetto. <laughs> I've told you a thousand times. Jackson to the second doesn't mean horn blower in the old tongue. It means blower of. I am twelve. <laughs> Enough. The in full order beard. to cover the horn, it must earn the gods' favor. <laughs> While you two bicker, our enemies in the ninth church grow stronger in our lands. The chief's aim is to lower all religions, con all regions, combined faith to twelve or less. Yeah. <laughs> Close. You're one point off. Yeah. By the way, you need an heir sooner than later, big guy. Yeah. Yeah, currently has no heir. You should hire a wizard to do it. More and Manny, I, you realize I'm dead and this is my kid I'm talking with through, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jackson the second, first, because Jackson the first was neutered. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Otakon, the wizard. The wizards are of utmost importance. Solve all your problems. You ever heard of a kingdom with a wizard that had a problem? No. So, uh, my fellow barons, we have the option to rebel, but should we? I don't think we should. The king's good to us. It's no reason to rebel. I wish we could rebel. <laughs> uh, Panic in the council. To it. Panic at the disco. Boy, uh, your grace, I bring bad news from the east. We are receiving reports of... I'm sure I am sure your news can wait. I bring urgent tidings from the north to demand the king's attention at once. Wait your turn, your eager adult. Why don't you settle your quarrel outside? Meanwhile, I have news from the march that really is urgent. Now, now, one at a time. The eastern courts are corrupt. Your majesty judges are letting off the vilest of criminals in return for the slightest bit of coin. Is that all? By Morgana's cauldron, the north is increasingly lawless, your highness. Some chiefs have taken advantage, declaring themselves independent of your rule. What? Treason. My news is worse still. Order in the march has broken down, my liege. Some battalions have killed their own officers and begun roving the wilderness, acting like common bandits. After something about a monster attack in the parade grounds. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is about. 
All these problems have arisen because the kingdom is increasingly unstable, your majesty. Something must be done. Must be done. Yeah, deal with it, my chancellor. Unfortunately, we lack the resources to tackle all these problems at once. We must vote on which matter to prioritize. The whole kingdom is in trouble. We can't help everyone. Which region should be prioritized? Reform the eastern courts, send troops to bring the independent chiefs back into the kingdom, or hunt down the outlaws and deserters in the march? You should oh. restore the eastern courts. I would like to point out that the Eastern Courts is the only one that doesn't lower military, Your Majesty, yes. and thus goes against your wishes. Which is why we should do it. I don't like any of those, to be honest. Hmm. But, if we send troops to bring the independent, uh, though, if we hunt down the outlaws and deserters in the marsh, it might lower their defiance. Stop a rebellion. I say we reform the Eastern Courts, and I'll, I'll gamble uh, money from the Treasury on it. If you want to make some cash, that's the way to go. Well, this is still my course. Oh, I will vote fine. with you, Your Majesty. Money, 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 money. Money. We need this money to build more stadiums. Monasteries. <laughs> The you last one was you, broken, you, yes. You, miss... <laughs> you, mean, you mean monasteries? I think I you mean... Is fine. The, the, the monastery didn't have, like, 12 I think you mean astronomy. in it. <laughs> Whatever it is that keeps the demons out, alright? The Eastern... The, the corrupt, corrupt Eastern judges are stubborn. The when you try to remove them from their posts... They retaliate by enforcing all the old forgotten laws that everyone had agreed to ignore. The treasury is now 4,400. Suddenly, merchants are legally required to wear blindfolds on weekends, and every coin must be passed under a nose of a cat before it's spent. Trade grinds to a halt. Kitties! Boy. Once the old laws are appealed, you enact crucial legal reforms. No more corruption in the East. Or at least, less of it. Oh, the crisis shit. in the East has been quashed, oh. making the kingdom as a whole slightly more stable. But the nobles of the other regions feel that you're ignoring their problems. Bummer. I see. Your Majesty, I have a few messages from respected members of the clergy. Is everything all right? And yes. I quote, "Of course, kiss it's, my ass." It's quite the honor, honestly. Your decision to say chase in honor of the Ninth God has caused quite the stir, and many people want to meet you. The High Inquisitor mentioned wanting your assistance in dealing with some heretical items. And a group of reclusive monks have invited you for a visit. What does the High Inquisitor want? She has a stockpile of dangerous artifacts that need to be cleansed, Your Majesty. Since you have a, such a close connection with the Ninth God, you are the ideal person to assist with the ritual. Though I must say, it's not for the faint of heart. Sounds dangerous, like a euphemism of some sort. Tell me about mm -hmm. these monks. They live deep within the cave systems in the north, your majesty. They sheltered there from aggressive northern godspeakers centuries ago. They're still very reclusive, but I hear they experience intense visions of the ninth god. You could gain a great deal of wisdom from visiting them, I'm certain. Alright. Hmm... I will visit the reclusive monks of the north. Very good, your majesty. I will let them know that you will visit the monastery soon. Hmm. Your highness, will you tell these superstitious counts to get over themselves and let us harvest their trees? We need the wood for our craftspeople. I've told you a thousand times, chief. The forest is thoroughly haunted. You damn us all if you go logging there. Also, you're ruled formerly by demon. But you sold us a logging contract, and said the contract has no exclusions for haunting. Also, you got paid, and we didn't as a result. Fair Your Majesty, the Counts can't be allowed to wiggle out of their commitments. I have no coin. Should the Chiefs be allowed to harvest lumber from the haunted forest in the east? Should I say, yes, the chiefs have a contract and may go logging? Let them harvest the lumber, but share the proceeds with the counts. Turn the forest into a joint northern-eastern hunting reserve. 
or fence off the area to make sure no one gets near it. But where would the Ewoks live? I don't really see a good option for you here, man. I mean, yeah. I would say let's go, let's go have a contract and go logging. But then again, like nobody should go near the forest; it is haunted. Nobody. I'm... I would just say, you know, let's let's turn it into a hunting reserve. Why, why anger the spirits when you can hunt them? I I, have to agree. I believe you should not lower your authority by anything more than it is. I have to agree with the counts for once. I mean, they were right about D uh, Jacksonzilla. Oh, sure. He was a demon. They get to take all our money, but they get to take all our money as a result. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's see how it goes. We had a contract, goddammit. That's politics. You and you, are, de get away and with you are demons. What patrician? <laughs> the demons eh. killed them all. I Why? cannot believe we won that event oh, with the faith. Neither yeah, can I. Let us see another 50 50. I should have been able to rampage freely and just destroy <laughs> this whole fucking thing. That would have been nonsense. so funny. We could have learned to live with them. I'm telling you. Ah. Uh, Authority challenge succeeded. Remember, I paid for that. We're mutinous now again. Give it the rest, won't you? The council has spoken, and it is for your own good. When it's clear the council won't reconsider its position, Chief well-armed with tacos slinks back in the north. The haunted forest falls back into obscurity and legend. Yeah, we're broke, by the way. Yes, We've been stop. broken. You killed our le our leader. You've destroyed our ability to do anything with our religion. Your leader had demons and demons and demons Jesus coming out of his demon body. <laughs> Yeah, his. Okay. Look at us. We have no cash. Any of us. We have zero money. Okay. It is. It is time. There are the money way with. too many mutinous, demonous, treasonous bandits. The kingdom needs stability lowered by building a prison. No, we need to stop these rebellions from occurring. We need to build a monument and a library. Agreed. Is it, is it me? The populace is it about me, the threat of demons? Andy, man yeah. to man, I think he's just trying to make the barons win. At this point, I'm kind of convinced. Uh, but is it me or the the library and prison have the effects accidentally reversed? Hmm. Possibly. You may start the auction when you wish. Like we have nothing that we can do. We got no money for this shit. And you're still going to tax this ridiculously, I'm just sure of it. <laughs> but why would you lower stability? Why? I don't understand. It's, it's because the barons are going to, to win. To We need to put all the criminals in jail, and to do that, I like the idea that you guys are spending all of this money for things that would be counteracting each other. Uh, ah, damn it! The Lerms, we need your funding. Also, yes. That logging contract and everything else has officially bankrupt all of us uh, chiefs, despite us not really spending that much money in the last event. All right, so stability is up one and authority is... Ah, damn it. So uh, is it reversed? Thank you, Dr. Insenio, for your generous support of the library. Nobody Ooh. decided to spend any funds to help me. That sucks. Well, you might get it in the next uh, next event, though. Uh, next auction. There still is no heir, which is very I, I interesting. Think, I think it's gonna uh... be that kid from the march, no doubt. Mm. Well, let's see how my visions of the ninth go. Thanks. The monks who live within the caves here invited you to share their hospitality. There's little sign of life, but as you approach the mountainside, a monk emerges carrying a flaming torch. He bows low. Your, your majesty, majesty, we foresaw your overcoming, 
My thanks for accepting our invitation. What do you hope from your visit? Honestly, I don't know. Wise is he who understandeth the limits of his understanding. Thank you. Please, step this way. You follow you him into a tunnel. well with just one hand. Cut to the mountain that quickly given. narrows to less than your arm span. It's a dizzying labyrinth, and you can never find your way out of here alone. Eventually, the tunnel opens into a dimly lit underground lake. Several monks sit by the water, meditating in silence. Every so often, you hear chanting, but from where, you can't tell. Your Majesty, you may meditate with us if you wish, and commune with the Ninth God. There will also be a sermon, starting on the hour. Alternatively, you may read our records to learn more of our visions of the past and future. Okay, let's uh, let's cut to the chase here. Excellent, Your Majesty. Let's see. I could gain knowledge. Go to the sermon. Hmm. I will look through the records. You comb through parchment tomes full of spidery handwriting, reading visions from the time of your forebear, Arald the Great. Dozens of visions describe monks being trapped in burning monasteries, soldiers destroying lovingly made carvings and tapestries, and devotees left in the dust. That was a hard time for us all. It's one reason why we retreated into the mountains centuries ago. I swear I'd never do such a thing. You should come out of the mountain sometime, or I hope I can control things to stop that happening. Do I want my authority to be high or low? Aha. Uh -huh. So you want to raise faith, then. You want to raise stability, because we're going to rebel if you don't. He smiles, he smiles as I Of course not, Your Majesty. We all trust you to help with the faithful, and I shall pray as such. You spend the night in a surprisingly cozy cave cell before making your way back to the capital the next day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well... Well, the Chiefs stopped the rebellion. Uh, let's see. We'll see how it goes when the end of the season. Your Majesty, heed my plea. The great tragedy of our time has befallen the East. The tragedy of plague is the... A demon plagues? hatched from the ground? Worse even than that, I fear. An older of once great knights has fallen into disrepute. It's the Order of the Gossamer Shield, Your Grace. They were once the greatest of the knightly orders to serve the Counts. Their virtues were extolled by bards across the land, tales that would make trolls weep. But they've been brought low. They're working as glorified bounty hunters for the march. This is a stain on the honor of the East. Nonsense! Our military has suffered some setbacks recently, so we hired Gossamer Security to keep order for a pretty penny, I might add. Gossamer Security has been solving the problems we want solved and kicking the buttocks we want kicked. <laughs> Damn it, Dingus! I do not care about the real buttocks! Gossamer Security! How has it come to this? These are knights, not mercenaries. They need reminding of a little thing called chivalry. That's to you. Please, Your Grace, I beg the council to be reasonable. Should the Order of the Gossamer Shield be recalled and reformed to its former glory? Should we recall the Order and restore its court? No, dignity? no, no, no. Do nothing. Invest in Gossamer Security to help protect the march. Hire the Order to join the Palace Watch, or ignore Although, the situation entirely. On the other hand, maybe... Recalling the Order is also a good idea. Yeah, I like recalling the Order. That's a good idea. Could just pay for the Order to join the Palace Watch and not have to deal with any more defiance in the situation, which I notice 
all the rest of them is going to have something go up and down there. Just saying. So much going on here. Uh, recall the order that raises defiance, raises or lowers defiance. Well, it that I'd say that means that there's a specific uh, defiance yeah, I, I being raised and another one being lowered, it's right? Lower, so it's like, going to lower the counts because that's what they want. Yeah. And it's going yeah, exactly. to raise the defiance of the barons. Yeah. Let's see. But they already hate me, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to put a Royal Gamble on Recall the Order, but uh, we'll see. There's a lot going on in this one. Hmm. I'm interested in if we invest in Gossamer, again, going out of character, if we invest in Gossamer Security, if it stops uh, the Barons from rebellion, from rebelling. I mean, it, it will lower the Barons' defiance, yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure but it is. is that is is that what we want? Uh, it honestly, it might be. Uh, so, it, so, it stops the rebellion, but it, it won't stop the rebellion, though. I think. Sure. It hasn't Although, actually. It, it, it hasn't officially thing. started yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You find out if you can vote, right? If you can still vote, then the rebellion hasn't started. We're gonna go against the. Uh, our colleagues' orders here, and uh, best in Gossamer security, I think. Well, this is a very evenly split one across more than the usual two, too. Yeah, I'm I'm for hiring the order as well, but honestly, I'm interested in seeing what investing in Gossamer security will do. Blood and stars, this is an insult to the culture and heritage of the East. The Barons are pleased to have retained Gosper Security's help in keeping the peace. They praise your wise judgment. Their defiance okay. is now mutinous. Yep. Oh, that halted the rebellion. Stopped. Oh, wow. Yep. For now. Mm hmm. Could still happen. Apparently, something has escaped from the cellars of Count Willybot's castle. I've asked for an eyewitness report from a local. Thank you, Brian. Ah. Uh, oh, hello, Indiana Your Majesty. It was a right on holy sight. A monster stitched together from parts dug up from the village cemetery. I recognize my Aunt Edna's earlobes. <laughs> bring, Very me Count, earlobes. bring me Count Willybot. This creature is my life's work, your highness, and my son. You created dun, a Frankenstein. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, God. Oh, this event again. This escape was regrettable. He just wanted to see the village up close. Rest assured, I've chained him up far more securely in my dungeon to ensure this won't happen again. It's too late for that, Count. You and your unholy creation must be burned. It's the only way to cleanse the world of your evil. Uh, Willie Bot, if you're in chat, uh, if you wanted a hug, is Willie Bot's uh, defense there? The monster may live as long as it stays imprisoned. Ah, uh, burn the monster. Burn. I'd like to point out monster. if you want to keep defiance down, this may be the best way to do it. Mm. Everything else is just gonna raise that defiance, which you have been keeping problems with this whole time. Uh, to be fair, it's probably going to be our defiance. Yeah, it's probably going to be the Count's uh, like defiance. Count's defiance? Goes up. Yeah. Um... Or it could say, fuck it, free the monster. We've been doing that this game. Yeah, that might be fun just to see what. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Royal Gamble on uh, burning Willybot and his monster. And? Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> No. But it will race. It will probably race the ability significantly. No. Willie Bot, do you have anything to say in your defense? Oof. Ooh. That's a good. That's a good. Willie Bot's defense is oof. Free the Willy monster. Is innocent. Burn the monster, but let the count live. Let the count live. This is unnecessary. I'm sorry. 
But we've been too far. We've gone down this road before. Uh, holy wait, shit, look at wait, this. wait, wait, wait. What, what is Gekko? happening with Nobody our kingdom? Voted. What is happening to our kingdom? No. Fuck <laughs> it all! Oh my god. Nobody well, voted for well, 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 That's the first. Well, 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 here we go. No, your majesty. The boys are not ready for freedom. This will end in disaster. <laughs> The council would free this unholy monstrosity and allow its twisted creator to go unpunished? What kind of message does this send? Hey, I didn't vote for it. <laughs> You're all mad. You'll see. Doom will come to the east. Doom. And then Doom Eternal. Unfortunately, the High Inquisitor is pro pro prophetic. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> the abomination snaps after relentless bullying from the suspicious villagers. It goes on a spree across the east, torching fields and murdering peasants. This is the second unholy abomination we've spread across the <laughs> Have we kingdom. seen this event and voted for free the monster? This is always a bad idea. Well, the rebellions are and back on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's finally brought back to justice by an angry mob. The common folk mock you for allowing your soft heart to build to blind you to common sense. Uh, rebellions are back on, and there goes our potential tick over on authority too. I think God. I just I think I just Damn. lost this because my military is shot. Oh. Northern sagas tell of Otel Torn, once gifted to mortals by the honey-blooded prince himself, then yeah, lost in the, the horns of time, never to be found again. Yep. Until now. It has spoken. Last night during the storm, I beseeched the drunken vessel himself, and lo, did lightning strike the earth far to the north. <coughs> <coughs> oh, puberty seems to have hit hard. That is where we will find the <laughs> horn. You mean into the frozen wastes? I have everyone muster their best warriors. We're headed into the domain of the ice giants. For the next stage of the chief's scheme, they must raise their military to five or more in two seasons. Yeah, that's going to be a Shit. snap. It's gonna wow. Be a God right. damn it. Yep, and we failed. Back in the march, Baron Chance Miyabi has met with his co-conspirators once again. Brandy is being passed around in good measure, but there seems to be little cause for celebration. It's no good. The peasants are losing momentum. If we don't keep up the pressure, they'll go back to living their normal lives in peace. Bah! Lazy good-for-nothings. Can't even get off their backsides for one measly revolt. We have to keep them unhappy. Don't allow the king time to stabilize. The Baron's goal is to lower the kingdom's stability to four or less. I've been trying to do that, yes. Thanks, Don. You literally can't tax us because we've got no money. The Baron <laughs> the best wisely uh, in the fur trade making no, 500 it's because wells. No, it's in your, your, you're in rebellion, so I can't tax you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's because oh. you're both in rebellion. Yeah. Well, that's that then. Okay. The kingdom is in rebellion. The first side to earn five victory points will win. Victory points are earned through events. If the rebels are victorious, the monarch is overthrown. Okay. Game good, time. Good luck, we're, everybody. We're, we're loyalists now. Interesting. All right. My dear chiefs of the north, thank you for joining us in our righteous war against the tyrant, Kinspuni. Aye, it's no trouble. Point us in the right direction and we'll start chopping off heads. All in good time, my friend. First, you must decide where to direct your opening strike. Isn't that what he just asked you to do? We can launch a preemptive strike against the Counts to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the Counts may join a cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the King's authority is low. Or, finally, you can send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Dishonorable, of course, but convenient. Beneath. Ultimately beneath us. Okay, ah. the Chiefs, this is your vote. 
Yeah, interesting. So we are going to war on the counts. We are going to war on the kingdom. We are uh... people proud in our military tradition. Yep. Andy, don't worry about that. This is us. We're doing this. Yep. I literally cannot vote here. Yeah, so. it's specifically a blue vote. vote. Also, why would we send an assassin after the king? We're broke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, I think we might be dead soon. Uh, let's see here. The Chiefs launched a surprise attack on the east, slashing and burning away across fields. Rolling that ways. one. Rolling that one. Nope, Damn they it. won. They catch a regiment of the Eastern Army unawares and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to a man. Common folk whisper that the battleground will be stained red for a generation. They whisper, winter has come. <laughs> Thank the gods down with the king. The northern soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the east devastated in their wake. Wait, this is PvP now. Interesting. Kind of. Yeah. About your heir. Oh, you that. You hire a wizard. Despite get everything, that. you still refuse to get married. It's unwise, but I'm willing to accept that I can't persuade you otherwise. She ruined me, Mom. Ruined me. There's one other thing you're missing, however. <laughs> Something more, even more important than a spouse. An heir. However, securing an heir is impossible while the kingdom is at war with itself. Defeat this rebellion and then, only then, is it worth looking to the future. Oh man, I can't win this game then. I'm fucked. I will talk to you again when the realm is at peace. Or the galaxy. At long last, the barons have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Baron Necrunner. His boots stomping mud all over your nice carpet. The balance of the march are sick of your lies and tyranny. We'll give your soft, seated women bastards a proper kicking. We'll be fighting for Emery, the true queen. And by that you mean we'll be setting the Northerners after you? <laughs> this is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. Seize him, or one day so, I will see your head on a spike. Um, yeah, you can lower one of your stats. Decide which. You have to lower one of your stats. Yeah. Seize him! <laughs> Come along now, traitors get the chop. What? But you can't do this. I'm an envoy, see? See how the king's tyranny grows worse by the day? Wow, Defiance jumped fucking to 10. Wow. The watchman wastes no time. Baron Neckrunner is dragged out in the courtyard and his head is struck from his shoulders. Baron Neckrunner has died. Damn. I didn't expect <laughs> them to move so boldly, Your Majesty. So what are our chances? Well, we're badly outnumbered. Your hopes are slim. How did things get this bad? The, order of the, the leader of the rebellion is Baron Josh the Man. As reason for the uprising, he's citing your history of petty transgressions against the barons. Oh, what's he had to be problem with? Uh, is it too late to apologize? It is. Now's the time for swords, not words. So this is it. Civil war. That's right, your majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before this is all over. I can't wait. I'll go dig out the, dig out the trebuchets. I'd like to point you out, you started this campaign shits. wanting to be a war king. That was kind of prophetic in a way. <laughs> you have brought war to your shores. Yeah. I, you're literally on an island. Who are you going to go to war with? But yourself. Yeah. There's people on horses across the sea to the east. I hear, I hear they have Jason Momoa. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's do a call for unity. Replace the Royal Gamble. Yep. Funny thing is, because my people are currently rebelling without me, I am basically just here to read stuff. Ah. Uh. Okay. Why aren't you? Jo why aren't you joining them? I can't. You chose not to vote for that? I chose not to vote for that, yeah. I thought uh, I was going to finish the game. 
I still think your faction is still technically under rebel uh, under rebellion though. Hmm. But yes, you you cannot vote because your entire faction is under uh, uh, rebellion. But you'll probably get faction specific uh, voting, just like with um, like how uh, the guess. chiefs we'll all see. got to vote. Yeah. Vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. At least that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent in the safety of your palace, poring over a giant map with your marshal. Your Majesty, the Army of the March is trying to link up with the Army of the North. If we take them both at once, we're in real trouble. Our only hope is the Counts. Against both armies at once, they'd be outnumbered, but perhaps they can take one of the rebel forces by surprise before they join forces. Only we had a wizard. We have no choice but to strike one or the other before it's too late. What are your orders, Your Majesty? Well, it's kind of obvious. Tell the yeah. march. Tell you the cast to go off to the marcher army first. You have to. You have to prevent. Hopefully, they do as they're told. God knows, treachery can thrive on a battlefield. All right, counts. Um. Let's see here. Hang back and let the rebels march in the capital without challenge. Defy orders and send the Eastern Army to fight the chiefs. No, I think we're gonna follow orders here, counts. Uh, Hang back. I think it's within our best, within our best interest. Back. Take us on. Take us on. No, and not die a with chance. Glory. Not a chance. No, 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 no. I'm just hoping that we can like gain some more military right now. Um, but we'll see what this actually turns into. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into your throne room, drenched in the blood and sweat of battle. 60%. Yeah. Thank My you, Sebastian. Full army. Thank you very much. If so, only some, some very, very unwise person didn't vote for the stadium massacre. <laughs> at dawn, we drew up in battle formations. It was all very orderly at first, Your Majesty, but after the trumpets blow and the cavalry charge, it's nothing but blood and screams. Anyway, after the red mist lifted, I appraised the situation. The marcher line was breaking. They were fleeing the field. It was a total rout, yep. Your Majesty, with your loyalists scarcely taking a scratch. The ninth is with us. Loyalists you gained three victory, victory points. points for that. Cool. We just got one for crushing them. It was a that sneak sucks. attack. Huh. Thank the ninth. Uh, rebelling. You didn't choose Huzzah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the ninth, you should thank the counts. Maybe send them some flowers. Well done, counts. Like wolves, Bane. For the marcher army is scattered all over the countryside. It'll be months before they can regroup. But now our armies are tired and the chiefs are still out there, raring for a fight. We can only hope our luck holds out. It'll all come down to the next battle, your majesty. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance. And my fate, too. Ha, <laughs> that's true. Never fear, Your Majesty. If we do lose this, there are worse face than a swift head chopping. Well done, Counts. <laughs> yeah, like, being, didn't, weren't you turned into a corporate mascot for the Patricians last time? Not me. That was, An that was Andy. Yeah. <laughs> that was Andy. Damn. That's a fate worse than death. No, he was burned at the stake as a heretic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have news from Gossamer Security in the March, Your Majesty. Good news, I hope. The mercenaries are being paid to protect the barons there, but Shit. their loyalty is more to money than a cause. Ooh. I expect reports on their activity very soon. Wait for an update. 60% based on trade. Succeed. Shit. God okay. damn it. The Aww. spy master returns a few days later with a coded letter in her hand. Now that helped you. Oh. Yep. Because you uh, guys had enough funds from paying from fun from trade. Okay. Those damn mercenaries. How could this happen to me? <laughs> I'll carry on deploying my agents. Hopefully we can undermine the march even with those mercenaries on their side. Along, Along the, mar the march's border, countless boots churn the ground to mud. Marching songs fill the air. The Baron's troops are gathering in vast numbers. Huzzah! Look at them all! What are we waiting for, eh? 
Let's come down on the capital like hell itself. I'm as eager to spill blood as anyone, my friend. But we can't commit too early. When we strike, we must strike with all our might. And on that subject, I've considered several proposals to further bolster our army. No! Oh, stop getting military. We need it. If only you picked those options before my military get destroy got destroyed. Yep. Um... Give up uh, the trade that you got for yeah, even further military to join. Let's do it. We have a high enough trade, we can afford it. Alright. Ugh, are we really hiring as Ashmidians to do our fighting for us? I feel dirty. You know those Ashmidians? <laughs> Me too. But we have no choice. This is the price of victory. Can I point out, the funny thing is that we've seen the marchers go from having one of the best armies in the whole region to getting them all wiped out by the monsters, and now have hired mercenaries from both the Counts and Afar to fight for them, and both Counts to build them back up to where they were. Um, yeah. Pretty good story so far. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The prey oh. to Kaldavaga, the machine god, in an yeah. attempt to remind him that the world exists. They claim their swords are alive, and will grow angry if sheathed for too long. They bathe every single day. Wow. You got machine priests. Yep, priests. but they're perfectly capable of enacting hideous violence in exchange for money. And that's all the barons need from them. Okay, cool. I've that's got some sort of steampunk mercenaries on my side. I, I can't lose now. Oh, I feel bad for the barons. I've been, or for the counts, rather. I uh, haven't been able to get my authority to at least five. Yep. Well, we might still be able to pull out a victory if the loyalists win. Yeah, victory points. So we're still with you on the loyalist side, I believe. We have three victory points, so. From that last big battle, yeah. yeah just yep. in that battle, though, but, uh. <laughs> Oh boy. Here comes the next one. Gonna save that final battle for last? I think so, yeah. Let's do Captured Loyalist. Crap, the captured one of us, no. Good news, Dragoon. In my latest sortie, I captured a key leader of the Loyalist forces. A scourge on you, well armed with tacos! <laughs> you adult pop doodle! Release me at once! I know. One We've name captured Arya Stark. Someone gag our guest. I'm tired of listening to her wittering. Her acting you is decent, but that's better. Now we can hear ourselves think. So, Dragoon, what shall we do with our brothers? Hmm. I'm gonna say they owe us money for the trees we're gonna demand a hefty ransom from them oh, we're gonna take from them what's you, left oh, of their money i hate you so much no this is for the trees that you fucking uh, owe us uh, it was haunted you cussed them down to all of and they should have given us the money back thankfully <sighs> how delightful my fellow castle paid the ransom i'm sure of it you better hope so, for your own sake. Mm -hmm. have as much okay, Kaos, else. are you gonna pay? <laughs> we never liked her anyway. <laughs> I mean, she was a nice character, but you know... If only Robot Stark survived. Hey, Arya Stark gets to vote for herself being ransomed. <laughs> I'm concerned about us losing wealth that we might need for the war front. But... Are you gonna vote? Yeah, we'll pay. Ooh. Ooh, it's time. Oh, oh, wonder... oh, even. I wonder what this comes down to. Three nobles voted for we never, never liked, liked her anyway. Or anyway. Okay, I think I just oh randomized it. Oh my god. Yep. There you go. Looks like your so called friends have hung you out to dry. No, no. Please have mercy, won't you? The blubbering countess is led to a platform where the executioner awaits. 
Her head is forced down onto the block. The axe falls with a very Damn. final thump. Countess Arya Stark has died. Countess Arya Stark's head is delivered to the palace in a neatly wrapped gift box. The outrage only serves to draw the counts closer to the king. Yep. But it also causes panic in the capital and saps morale through the east. Victory points achieved. Yeah, you guys got some victory points out of that one. Okay. This is a bummer because now there's a sickness. Is in here too? Crap. I think we, I think Get we gotta, with the sickness. I think we got to go to the final battle. You're not going to even go to the sickness spreads? No, because that can only be a bad thing for the east. Hmm. Unless you fight it. Okay. Yeah. The Counts did well to defeat the Baron so comprehensively, but their soldiers haven't had a moment to rest. The Northern Army is still fresh, and they are marching on the capital as we speak. I feel faint. Take heart, Your Majesty. We haven't lost yet. I will send word to the Counts they must throw their exhausted soldiers at another foe. We can only hope they listen to your orders, Your Majesty. Oof. 20%. That's a bummer. But we've be we've beaten long odds before. Why are you I, start the second why? boats to let them pass? Yeah, why would Cause she? Because you, you let her die. I why would she let her die? That's what we do here. Uh, counts, what do you say? Are you voting B, huh? Nah, yeah, I think I think we go I think we go for it. It's low odds, but I don't think we have a choice. One in five. If, if, authority, if authority lowers anyways, we're, we're in shit. Yeah, so. Then you will meet your destiny on the field of battle. Yeah. They're, they've been... Fair lost. winds to our final conflict. Your marshal rides out with your orders, leaving you to wait. The next few days are agony. Nope. Yep. When she finally returns, it's not in the manner you'd hoped. She carried into your throne room on a stretcher, coughing weakly. Her torso is covered in blood-soaked bandages. Yeah. The night before the battle, the... Mood in the eastern camp was grim. Can you blame them? The poor bastards were still licking the wounds from the last battle, and now they're tossed straight back in the fire. Turns out we were right to worry. Looks like you won. Oh, yeah. Yep, I, yes. yep, that's a victory for the rebels. It was a narrow pass, forcing our armies into a choke point. Suddenly, our numbers didn't matter. The chief softened us up with a hail of arrows. Then they smashed into us like a hammer striking an anvil. So much death. Three points can't go higher. <laughs> when they found me, I was under a pile of corpses with six arrows in me. They say it's a miracle I survived at all. How We've lost. We're all going to die. To me? <laughs> she sits back engulfed in a coughing fit. If we want to see the years that we've lost, dude. Yep. It's time to pray to the ninth, Your Majesty, because apart from him, we're on our own. I mean, well, what's you the point? Check the sickness. Well, we started to see the sickness thing, apparently. All right. Your Majesty, hey, a terrible Gouches sickness is spreading among my troops in the east. Get away from me! What yes, troops? Is called what death. troops are military at zero? We let the disease run its course. We'll have lost lots of soldiers we can't afford to lose. But I'm not sure how much we can do. Perhaps the council can see a way forward. Uh, I don't give a shit because you have no military. <laughs> yeah. Fire, Fire a wizard! <laughs> Finally! Fire a wizard! wizard. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> Everyone vote for the wizard. <laughs> Pyro was her. But I said the whole time. If only you did that sooner. Uh, nobody listened to me. A few days later, the wizard Pestia, Pestia arrives at your court. She's clad in flowing black silk, wearing a mask in the shape of a rodent's face. Likely black fever carried by body lice. Make sure all your troops are thoroughly bathed and scrubbed with soap. Now hand over my money and I'll be on my way. Like the tech priest's barbarian mercenaries? That's all? Why should I give you anything for that? 
Ever heard the expression, never break a promise to a wizard, your majesty? Want to become the main character of a cautionary tale? No, I refuse to pay for such simple advice. Pesci nods thoughtfully, then bows to you and departs the palace. A few days later, a new disease starts ravaging the eastern troops. It's even worse than the first. Symptoms involve acute stomach cramps, followed by turning inside out. Oh no, it's that fog that turns you inside out. In a matter of weeks, the entire eastern army is dead. It was already <laughs> dead. <laughs> Holy well, shit. Well, GG, everybody. Yep. The funny thing is, I think if you'd actually done that seriously, you could have huh? made our victory points go lower. I think that's what that was implying, because it said that their victory so. points can't go lower. Mm. Hey, you want to buy some stuff? Nope. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. I have 200 gold. Bear me with my money. Let's buy an observatory so we can watch the kingdom burn. I did my best. I actually really did. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. It was funny. Good times. I miss I miss playing this game. This game rules. And the Rebellion storyline is so interesting. Of like, because imagine it was the other way around. Imagine only one kingdom rebelled and then you had two loyalist kingdoms. What that would look like, right? Of the underdog? Yeah. Hmm. Right now, it looks like the Wrath of Jack's Engine the first coming back from the seventh hell. That was the backbreaker. That one really hurt bad. The demon, yeah, yeah. You did manage to claw through it, but then you didn't give us anything to work with. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch out for those demons. <laughs> okay, no, the backbreaker I think was letting the de was letting the Frankenstein kid loose. That was also incredibly weird. Yep. Okay. So I wonder who the victory actually goes to here. I think you... Did you both progress your... Let's see here. We did. Hmm. The sun rises on a city in turmoil. The barons began their assault at night, last night, and since then you've heard nothing outside but screams and howls and the clash of blades. Half the capital is in flames. Soldiers rush back and forth, shouting panicked orders. You haven't seen your marshal since the night before. Perhaps he's already dead. Your honor guard are in the streets outside the palace, barricading, building a barricade, and organizing last-ditch defenses. Vital work, but you're vulnerable without them by your side. The royal court is empty except for you brooding on your throne. You wait and stew. Outside, the screams and clashes get louder. Finally, your spymaster arrives out of breath, her face stained by smoke and blood. They'll be here any moment, your majesty. You must saddle your horse and escape the city. I know of a secret passage. Show me where to go. You follow the spy master down through a hidden trapdoor behind your throne. The capital is lost, but you can get it back. The counts have agreed to shelter you while you plot your revenge. Oh, interesting. At least some people are loyal. After crawling down a secret tunnel for what feels like hours, you spill out into a leafy courtyard. A pair of horses are waiting. As you saddle them up, you hear a wet thud behind you, followed by the sound of something rolling across the floor. Your spy master is dead on the ground. Her head is missing. Josh, the man, stands over the body, flanked by a dozen soldiers, his longsword stained red. Never liked her ideas about her station. Get it over with. As you wish. With a triumphant smirk, Baron Josh, the man, makes a sharp gesture. The marcher soldiers step forward, crossbows at the ready. Next time, your majesty, don't underestimate the balance. We keep this kingdom safe from empires and from tyrants. Brace yourself. Instead of killing you, the soldier sees you and drag you back towards the palace. Your ordeal, your ordeal isn't over. Oh, God. After a week of rotting in your own dungeon, you're marched out onto a public platform, jeered at by thousands of peasants. You cringe under a barrage of rotten fruit and fresh dung. Shame. Damn. Shame. Baron Josh the man sits in the front row, grinning. The rebels have won. The capital has been taken. You are a former king. You still got 2,900 bucks, though. <laughs> The Executioner waits silently holding an axe bigger than you. If you have any last words, now's the time. Nope. I have nothing. 
You place your head on the block. The executioner lifts his massive axe. Wait, you suddenly thought of much better last words. You turn the executioner to tell him, but the axe is already falling. Thunk. <laughs> your head bounces into Baron Josh the man's lap, and your reign comes to a gruesome end. Yeah. And now we oh, go oh, to oh. the fun part. Tiebreaker vote. We all get to vote on that one, huh? Okay. I would like to point out the MVP and the best kingdom suited for the future of this land. We are the best at trade. We are the best at farming. We are the best at military. We are the best at trade. One of a demon. We are the best kingdom for you. I'd like to point out that one of you is a demon and shall not be voting. Four demons. Voting is close. <laughs> Ivor is now king in the north. The Chiefs are victorious. All right. <laughs> well done. Good game. Having lost, having lost to the rebellious barons, King Spoonie was dragged out of the palace and decapitated in the city square. The barons, led by Josh the Man, launched a rebellion that toppled the king and devastated the kingdom. But when the dust cleared, they weren't quick or strong enough to seize the throne themselves. As a reward for staying loyal to the king, the top counts were beheaded. In public, the survivors swore loyalty to the new regime. In private, they swore vengeance. The chiefs joined the rebellion alongside the barons. In the aftermath, they were the natural choice to take the throne, and Ivor was crowned to half-hearted cheers from the traumatized common folk. Damn. King Spoonie the Unready. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. GG, everyone. Yeah. GG. Tell my ma I did my best. <laughs> So do we actually want to make a new dynasty, or would we like to try continuing this one, where the Bra the North has more or less conquered all? I'm really interested Makes to sense. see like what the legacy uh, elements are as as some of these things unfold. But uh, again, totally up to what everyone else wants. We can wants. continue, but I wonder. Um... Will you be playing as them, or would I be? Yeah, I, I, would I have to export the? Uh... The save to one of you or no what? you could just load you could just load the game as it is but if you wanted to export it to like me to run for yeah. this then we could try that should probably consider trying that next time i guess other monarchs oh. may now play your save go to the continue dynasty screen hit import save and use the code below we store save for 14 days before deleting uh i guess i'm booting up i can try that now oh are we, are we doing round two uh, How are you guys feeling on round two, like Spoony? I, How are you feeling I can't go against the night. I I can't go because I got to drive my brother to the airport. But uh... oh, fair enough. Mm. Well, we got tw we got two weeks to to go for round two. You can probably still get the code though to just import it. Yeah, no, but it doesn't work like that. Uh, like it will be deleted afterwards. Oh, I see. All right. N B W L two four. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for playing. I know it was short notice, and I know you've been working hard, Shazam. So I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to do this. No, no. If 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 I have free time, I I love hanging out here. It's so much fun. All right. That was a roller coaster. Oh and yeah, it was. That was so great. That was so great winning that faith challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 there, there were times, honestly, there were times that I feel where, like, it could have swung any way for the kingdom. It was just like, can we quash the rebellion? No? Fuck. <laughs> well, the I think the second backbreaker was when they uh, won the mercenaries back. They got their military back. Yeah. Uh, that was well, a no, real bummer. Because, well, when they got the military back, that we had already crushed um, An uh, Andy's military there. It was actually Jax's military that was then going on us. Andy's military wasn't actually used in that in that role. Oh, I see. Right? But there was nothing we could do against what, like, and, uh, Jackson, what was your military? Seven. Like, and seven. Eight. Yeah. It was eight, eight by yeah, the end. It was eight, and mine was at, like, three. And we just, fought, like, I'm like, hey, maybe we get lucky. No, we yeah, we were always going to die there. All right. Should have fired a wizard. Well, then you had a 20% shot, as I've said. Maybe no, let's try a... Awesome. We could try setting up a, Let's try to set something up for, like, maybe next week. Like, it's, like, around the same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we want to have, like... If we want to have, like, like a consistent, like, Friday, like, KOTC night or something like that, or...? 
Uh, we, well, I'll try at least for right. one. We'll, we'll try it at least once to see how it yeah. plays out. I, I, I want to see how the, the dynasty continues if it works out that way. So yeah, let's try. Let's yeah, try it again be, next week. That'd be sweet. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. All right. But as always, everyone, we'll see everyone in the chat, thank you for mm -hmm. watching and thank you for the donations. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Night.